The word biodiversity is thrown around a lot, but people are spellbound to see what lives in our bay. The big things like the dolphins and the whales, sure, but the little tiny worms and the, the crustaceans and the mollusks. And there's this incredible mix of things where you can go diving and find something you've almost never seen before. That sense of wonder is the sort of wonder that people have for the Great Barrier Reef. But, you know, I've dived on the Great Barrier Reef and I can tell you, Port Phillip Heads Canyon is equal to anything that you'll get anywhere else on the planet. The colour, the diversity, the unique critters have got all these amazing tricks for survival. There are so many rich stories out there because of what lives in our bay. Port Phillip probably has most of the habitats that you'd ever get in a temperate marine coastal environment. So we've got mangroves, we've got seagrass meadows, we've got mini kelp forests, we've got rocky reefs that have quite mixed diversity. Down in the south we have a great sandy area, they call it the Great Sands. We've got a massive area of mud, so two thirds of the bay is probably flat and silty mud, but in there live an incredible diversity of species that actually keep the bay clean. Just like in the bay we need a healthy diversity, we also need a healthy diversity of stories. What I've learned is the thing that really gets their interest if you're talking to people are the big fat ones, the whales, dolphins for some, different types of fish for others. People always go ooh-ah over blue devilfish. Migratory birds that do trips to the North Pole impress people. Port Phillip is known around the world as an incredible diverse place for sea spiders. And most people don't even know that sea spiders exist. We also have Australian fur seals. We've got stargazers that bury themselves in the sand. Some of them can be this big. We've got feather duster tube worms, wonderful little worms that if you ever turn over a rock in a rock pool, these little worms that make these tubes have these tiny little tentacles that look like orange or white or yellow threads of cotton. And there's all sorts of amazing things that most people have never even heard of that live in our bay, that share their home with five million people. <laughs> If there's one thing that we, we've learned about living ecosystems is that they're interconnected and that we don't understand how those connections work. But if they are healthy, just like if all parts of your body are healthy, then they'll work together and they'll have a degree of resilience. I, I hope Port Phillip is quite resilient, but we're already seeing significant changes so that every single thing we can do, every tiny weeny thing that we can all do to help reduce our impacts on the bay, then the better it will be.